Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Kedrix here again. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Gemmer, and Google+. Plus. All the links are down below in the description. Doing another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be doing a dinosaur review on quite a few figures because these figures came in the set. Um, these are the Wild Republic Dinosauria figures. There are three ways that you can get these. You can get them, well, you can get them in like a bag set. There were two bag sets that came with four dinosaurs each. You can get them that way. And you can find them at hobby stores or museums or any gift shop in general. Or you can get them in the full box set pre-painted. And it's usually in like a window display and you would get all of them just like that with the box on the back revealing facts of each dinosaur that was presented. Or you can get them unpainted and you can paint them yourself in the same box set. I, however, got mine pre-painted and they were all bought individually. I do not have the full set. The ones that I'm missing are the Triceratops, Pteranodon, and Baryonyx. The Triceratops I can pass up because I really don't see a need for me to have it. Uh, the Pteranodon looks pretty interesting. I might want to get it if I ever see it. The Baryonyx doesn't really look good in my opinion, so I won't see myself picking it up. Maybe the Triceratops and, like I said, the Pteranodon if I ever come across them, but not the Baryonyx because it just doesn't look good. And even though I'm a completist... I am not going to complete this set. So I'm just going to review the ones that I have here, and I'm going to review them based on the time period they were in, such as Jurassic and um, Cretaceous. So we're going to start off with the Jurassic period, so let me get these dinosaurs out of here. And we're going to review first off the Stegosaurus. Now these models were made back in 2004, and as you guys can see, they're pretty outdated. Excuse me, I didn't mean to do a voice crack. But yes, they are pretty outdated. And the Stegosaurus is a good example of how outdated it is. The neck is too short. The head is too big. Um, the feet are incorrect. They're, they, it has elephant feet rather than having the accurate feet that Stegosaurus had. Um, it's spikes. I mean, the plates on the back are kind of small and they're kind of squished in. The tail seems to be fine, but the spikes of the tail should be stuck out more this way than they are just like sticking up. And as you guys can see, it's kind of um, kind of pudgy. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could use this as a uh, juvenile stegosaurus if you had a much larger stegosaurus. But other than that, the proportions are off and yeah, it's just not accurate. And if accuracy is your thing, then I do not recommend this, but I do like it. The detail on it's pretty good. It's got nice pebble-like detail, which develops into larger scales. There's the underbelly with the uh, wrinkles on it. Spike tail. This plates have little ridges on them. There's the face. Um, there's n there's um, nostrils, but there's no ear hole as far as I can tell. It's got the beak there, eyes, which are just black. The elephant like feet like I said so yeah it's great in detail but proportion wise and accuracy wise it's not and the paint jobs kind of eh. I mean like the spikes are like this red color the body's brown and the underbelly is kind of like this tannish gray there's an off-white color for the mouth toes and tail spikes and even on the eyes now the coloration is like I said, eh, but it's pretty good for what it is. And personally, I do like it. it. Gives me kind of like a nostalgic feel because, well, at least it has a nostalgic feel for me because I used to watch these old stop motion um, dinosaur films and admittingly the dinosaurs kind of did look like this. So yeah, that's the main reason why I like it just because of how nostalgic it is. And here we have what I think is a Diplodocus. I mean, it looks like it, so it has to be, but it could also be an Apatosaurus. And as you guys can see, like I said, with the Stegosaurus, this could be passed off as a juvenile because, as you guys can see, it is not accurate. The legs should be longer. Um, the neck should be longer as well, and the tail is actually pretty long. It's just folded out in this direction, it curves around like that. So, yeah, like I said, accuracy why it's not good, but you can pass this off as an infant. I mean, I'm glad that they added the spikes going down the back because that's what this saur sauropod was notorious for, having spikes running down its back. It's got the whip-like tail, and like I said, it's pretty long, but it's 
fold it in to fit in the packaging. It's got elephant feet as well. The eyes kind of anime-like, but that's what I like. I love anime, so that's why I like this one. And the nostrils are positioned on top of the head here. And the detail is pretty nice. I like how it's all wrinkly, and it's kind of got like elephant skin, which makes it look pretty cool. The underbelly is wrinkly as well. The little spikes running down the back, they don't have detail on it, unfortunately. Um, it's got teeth, but they're not painted, and there's a tongue in there with the mouse been sculpted and painted and the paint job like I said it suits the dinosaur itself it's a dark gray running down the back and like a light greenish gray on the body with an even lighter gray on the un underbelly it's kind of like a bluish gray and I like it because like I said with animals that are big like Diplodocus, Patasaurus and Brachiosaurus you would think that they would be like one simple color like bigger animals today like hippopotamuses, rhinos and elephants they're all big creatures that are simply one color and I know people are going to say they are mammals and that these dinosaurs here sauropods were reptiles but just think about it Komodo dragons and crocodiles are usually like one or two colors as well and they're pretty huge they're like the biggest reptiles to live on this earth as of right now and they're pretty much two different colors and that's pretty much what this um, Diplodocus has right here like two or three different colors and I like that because like I said you wouldn't expect a creature this big to have bright colors like dinosaurs that we think of nowadays so yeah I like them both they're very nostalgic and I'm not gonna give them a rating because to be honest I don't like giving ratings anymore it's kind of unfair and now we'll move on to the Cretaceous dinosaurs starting off with the Iguanodon now I don't know if I mentioned this already but these figures are made out of hollow plastic and they're separate into two parts like there's a seam line running down the middle of each one I think no on the um, the Bloticus it's on its neck and on the stegosaurus it's on its tail this one has it between its uh, ribs right here now I personally do like this iguanodon for the very reason that it reminds me of the one from walking with dinosaurs because of like the coloration and everything and the position it's in because this is the position it took in the TV show series. Now mine unfortunately is missing a little part of its tail and it's got paint scratches and scuffs all over it because like I said they're second handed I didn't buy them new. I still like it though. Uh, the feet are not in the right position. Um, the back legs look fine but they might need to be skinnier and it's got this hump right here when really Iguanodon's head would be up to here and the body would align perfectly but yeah like I said this is made in 2004 and you know it's, it's pretty good like I said very nostalgic um, the colorations pretty interesting it's like a brown color with black stripes orange eye the beak was like this brown color but like I said it's scuffed and the claws are all black and the underbelly is the molding color which is this light tan so yeah there's that one and next we'll move on to the Velociraptor. Now, first things first. Um, Detail-wise, it's pretty good. Um, again, it's not accurate. The skull is supposed to be skinnier. The arms are not in the right position. They're supposed to be more tucked into the body. And the legs, I don't know. They, they look okay, but the tail needs to be longer and should be sticking out more. But, you know, is it bad for what it is? Accuracy-wise, yes, but at least they gave us a feathered Velociraptor because considering that most Velociraptors are based on the Jurassic Park design, they at least took the time to make sure that it looks nothing like it. And, yeah, the coloration's pretty interesting. I mean, I like the feathers being orange, but I would have wished there were more colors. The head is an interesting color. It's black with blue over the eyes, and the eyes are orange. I really like that. And there's the mouth there. It's like, kind of like a pale color. The claws are black. It's got these stripes running down the tail, similar to that of the Iguanodon. The teeth are individually sculpted, and it's painted nicely pink. So, like I said, for what it is, it's not bad. I mean, accuracy-wise, it's pretty bad, but at least they gave us a feathered Velociraptor. And last but not least, 
the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, to let you guys know, um, this is really inaccurate. As you can tell, the head is too big, the body is too stumpy and short. The legs look pretty good, and the feet aren't too oversized. Um, the arms are too long for what they are, and the tail is pretty short. And as you guys might have noticed, um, this T-Rex is kind of positioned like Sue, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I'm pretty sure that's where they based it off, of, considering how the position does resemble Sue. But I do like the detail, and it's got a nice pebble-like detail. The wrinkles at the bottom, that's pretty consistent with all these dinosaurs. It's got ridges going down its legs. Feet look pretty nice, very bird-like. Arms, again, are oversized, but the detail's nice nonetheless. We got the head, which is too box-like. Um, the binocular vision is missed on this because the snout is way too thick. It should be a lot more narrow to allow it to see forward. The teeth are individually sculpted. It does have a tongue in there. Um, the flanges are right here, but they're not painted. So, yeah, out of proportion, not really accurate. And personally, to me, it doesn't really resemble the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. I mean, maybe somebody out there might look at it that way. But, to be honest, it kind of doesn't really look like it. To me, at least. But yeah, the head is kind of heavy, so it may warp over time and cause it to fall a few times. It's hollow, so... Yeah, it's not really the best when it comes to standing. I mean, the Velociraptor is made out of like this... Um, like, softer plastic, where all the other ones are hollow. But, again, it's not really a bad figure. I like the red on the head kind of menacing. The black around its eye. The green eye with the pupil. The mouth is actually kind of like a light tan pink. The claws are black. The body's kind of an orangey brown. It's got yellow all over it. And the coloration is good. If it was on an accurate T-Rex, this coloration would work just fine on an accurate T-Rex. That's not to say it doesn't work on this one. But if it was a lot more accurate, then I'm pretty sure it's got something good going for it. So, my overall thoughts on this set, it's not bad, I mean, accuracies I wish would be better on these ones because these are meant for kids. And I know people are going to say, well, kids don't care, but, you know, if these toys are supposed to teach kids, you know, they should have at least some accuracy on them. I mean, at least they got, at least they got, like, the details to give an idea of what a dinosaur of this nature would look like. But, yeah, overall, if you want to get this set, go ahead. I don't highly recommend it, but I do recommend it if you're in, um, into, like, the old-school dinosaurs like I am. So, yeah, this would be a great set for um, anybody, any collector or child. I just got it because, like I said, I like how nostalgic they look. And most of them were gifts, the other ones I bought. But, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Again, all my social media accounts are down below. Look forward to some more reviews. It's Mr. Kydrick signing out. Stay awesome.